Hey guys, this is Homayun from Homayun TV. So today I'm gonna teach you how to obtain Grand Staff Dynamics and Articulation in Dorico. So if you wanna achieve something like this, to get both of your piano staffs playback separately, please keep on watching. All right, so what we want to do is to create a new empty project. And we're gonna use two different instruments that only use one staff. So for example, a vibraphone. And uh, well, you can also open it here or here, as you know. So we're gonna add a vibraphone. And it, as you can see, I'm not using a piano or any other double staff instrument. So this is one of them. Now we're going to add another one. Vibraphone. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to just grab this to make it so you guys can see everything. Awesome. Uh, okay, so after that, we're going to modify the name so we can recognize it. And you can also um, do this if you have any scores that it's already written or it's a fresh score so it doesn't really matter and both will be fine so we're gonna just put piano like one and then this one's gonna be piano or left hand or right hand or whatever you want to do so for example we took two here and of course after that you have to click here right click or click on this little arrow here go to edit names because we're gonna change it in the, in the score as well, because as you can see now, it's a vibraphone here, but here it looks on the layout, you see the names change. So we're gonna change it here as well. So select the vibraphone, delete it, write in piano, and press enter two, three, four times, right? And then here, we're gonna write piano and dot. So this is the short name version, right? So here you can see it's available. And then we're gonna click on this one. And for this, of course, you guessed it right, we're not gonna need anything. So we just delete it. And we're almost there. So after that, uh, we're gonna change a bit of the appearance. And what we're going to do is to create a base clef here, right, even more close to what we want to achieve. And we will delete this bracket by clicking on it and clicking delete. And then click both of the brackets. Oop. And then after selecting this, you can just add the piano bracket, the grand staff bracket. And well, the appearance is already there. And then the last thing we need to do, if you want to also playback, to hear the playback separately, which actually that's the whole point of this video, is to go to your sound settings and uh, modify it there. So we're just gonna modify the sounds and I'm gonna show you how to do it in both um, Note Performer and also how to do it in the Halion um, Sonic SE. So what you're gonna do is to click on this E here. And as you can see, the, the mixer is here and you can click on it and select whatever you want, select whatever sound you want. So of course we want the piano so we're gonna go to keyboards, piano, and select it. And then, whoop, sorry. And then piano here as well. And that's it. And that's that's uh, all you can do. You can also make the pannings if you want or whatever. Do add some reverb, the levels. This is just uh, whatever you prefer. And uh, let me show you how to do it also in Halion Sonic. Loading, 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 loading. Woo, yes. So, and this is also Halion Sonic. So it's the same procedure, but here you choose the sounds. And if it's not already here, you can just, for example, it was on the vibraphone or whatever. 
just click on the piano, first click here, because these are the, the voices and the sounds that uh, it's going to be connected to the program. So you click on the piano, and then you write here Yamaha. That's the normal one that it's been used, uh, the default one. So, and then it's going to just, and then you're going to just put on the second one as well, right? And then we're going to check something here to make sure, yeah, see, it's already, it's already selected. And this is the first one. And this is the second one because they're both are going to Haley and Sonic. And uh, one last thing to tell you is that uh, the pedals will only work in one staff. And you need to if you want to enter any pedals, you need to uh, add it here if you want to hear the sound, and then you should remove it later, uh, whenever you want to print a score or use it. So so be aware of that. And uh, yeah, and, and it's just an easy procedure, you can just click on it and delete it. But anyway, right now, you can enter both articulations here, and it will work just like a normal piano, and also the dynamics and everything else. So this is it for this video. And uh, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And see you later. Homayun out. Cheers.